Hello, Pisces, my fellow water sign. This is the Lavender Lightworker channel. I'm a Scorpio. I will be doing your weekly reading. I started recording and unfortunately the recording stopped because I had pulled some Oracle cards and I wanted to let you know I have them here and I meditated over them. And then, so these are the African goddess deck. And this, you got Queen Nefertari, alchemy. Now, those of you that don't know what alchemy means, it's basically transmuting something into another form. For instance, lead into gold. So I feel that this message is for those of you out there that are having some negative vibes. Turn those negative vibes into positive vibes. Um, learn how to meditate, learn how to transmute that. If you have some childhood trauma or some shadow work that you've been working on, learn how to take those negative experiences, pain and suffering, and turn it into something positive by helping others, helping the community. Um, there's a lot of ways that you could take this card, alchemy. Like for instance, pain and suffering, heartbreak. If you're going through a heartbreak, someone, someone family, friends, a lover, a husband, a wife, a partner. If someone has broken your heart, take that pain and turn it into something beautiful. When my heart was broken, it hurt, it sucked. But I learned how to, I took all that pain and I learned how to read tarot. So I was able to start my own business. So this is a perfect example of what the goddesses want you to know is the alchemy, use it for your advantage. And then you have the seasons, Nana Baluku. This is the elder, she's the god, goddess of the goddess. She oversees everyone. Just understand that there's seasons in life and there's gonna be time for harvest. So, Basically, understand spring, winter, fall, summer. There's going to be seasons in your life. There's going to be seasons of pain, seasons of happiness, seasons of joy. That goes hand in hand. Use those seasons and make it to your advantage with the alchemy. And then you also got Marie Laveau. I don't know if any of you have seen uh, American Horror Story. She, uh, Angela Bassett played her character, a pretty cool character. Um, this is the voodoo queen of New Orleans, but it says good juju. So you have good juju on your side. Basically good karma, good, good vibes. Um, if you're meditating or practicing any type of magic or anything of that sort, it looks like you're doing good magic and you're not tapping into the dark energies. This is good juju. So those cards came out. Let's see Pisces. I also have this. This deck. Believe in your own magic deck. Let's get you a card from here. By the way, um, I'm a new YouTuber. And I don't plan on going anywhere. So please, if you like my content to help me grow, please plus like and subscribe. And I will keep it coming. Cross watchers are welcome. All right. So let's see. Believe in your own magic oracle deck. Let's see. There she goes. The lioness. The lioness, 
you've earned your stripes. So basically, this is about childhood trauma or any trauma, traumatic experiences you've had in your life. It doesn't have to be from your childhood. But if you've had some experience in your life that it feels like you keep getting a beating and a beating and it just, you just never catch a break and, and you have scars, you're, you're emotionally scarred from it. This is, the ancestors are letting you know that you've earned your stripes. It's almost like equivalent to the Ten of Swords. However, this is about your your pain and suffering, you which is also going to the alchemy. These are all starting to line together. Take that power and use it for good. You've earned, you've got good juju coming. You've earned your stripes. The, it looks, sounds like a season of good juju is coming in. That's what I'm getting. <clears throat> All right. We have the, uh, this deck is a little vulgar. FYI. The Oracle deck would have added to it. It's going to curse you out. Don't shoot the messenger. Ancestors, spirits of the light, please show me the cards that Pisces needs to see. Please show us the oracle cards that Pisces needs to see. Thank you. Thank you, spirit. All right. The Pisces Collective, please. And thank you, spirit. Okay, wow. That's a lot, but we'll take it. We'll take it. All right, we have three dollar signs. Woohoo! Now, if that's not alchemy, I don't know what it is. Good juju. Make it rain. Looks like money's coming your way. We have stop talking, shut your mouth, and listen. We have it's dark and you can't see a fucking thing. Get your head out of your ass pronto. We have, you are going through some tough shit. Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired ass up and handle it. Wow. Get some fucking sleep. You are being an ass because you are fucking tired. Face to pillow now. Don't shoot the messenger. So it's it's sounding like somebody's stressing and not getting enough sleep. Maybe you're overworking yourself. Um, this all goes down to the seasons and the alchemy. You know, you're going through some shit. You're going to make it. Um, really, really research alchemy. Cause that was the first card that came out honestly and that's the one that's calling me to the most and if you notice everything here ties back to that um stop talking and listen you have some good juju some money coming so we're gonna put these to the side over here over here all right, so for the Pisces Collective, let's see. Let's see what's going on. I'm gonna use this deck. Let's see what's going on. Please show me the cards I need to see for the Pisces Collective. Please, Spirit and Ancestors of the Light, please please clarify this alchemy. Please clarify how can I guide my Pisces water signs collective all placements into using alchemy. to get through the seasons 
because they've earned their stripes because they have good juju. Please and thank you. The world on the bottom. All right. Ancestors and spirits of the light, please show Pisces the way to handle this. Please show them the card they need to see regarding the alchemy card and messages. Please show us the card you need to see for the Pisces Collective. Please and thank you, Spirit. So we can tie these Oracle cards in. See what the general message is today for the Pisces Collective. Please and thank you, ancestors. Oh, this one flipped upside down. So we got Queen of Cups right there. some different visuals i'm a very visual person so i like to use several decks to get the bigger picture it's a huge deck let me use it this way and see what happens Swords in reverse on the bottom. Please, for the Pisces Collective, all placements, show me the cards you need to see. Please and thank you. Show me the cards. This one's trying to pop out. What is it? This one's gonna pop out. Huh. Seven of Wands. The Empress in reverse. All right, we got those two. Let me get one more from this deck. Actually, I want to use some visuals. two more cards please and thank you for the Pisces collective all places please and thank you please hit like and subscribe my fellow water signs I appreciate it from Scorpio mama hot Scorpio mama it's a kind of a card for Pisces collective all right One more. 
see. Thank you. Sorry, I like to them to fly out. I really don't. It's just not a thing for me. I don't like picking them. Maybe one day I'll try that method, but it just doesn't feel natural to me. This is how I read. So if you're looking for something a little faster, you probably should keep scrolling. Because I take my time. I'm going to let the cards flip. That's way too many. Please and thank you for the Pisces Collective. Show me another visual card that I need to see. Please and thank you. All right, that gave us two. So. I see here with the Queen of Cups and the Five of Wands. And the seven of wands. Pisces, I feel like someone is taking their their emotional stability back. They're gaining control. They're stop they have stopped fighting. They're no longer on strike. If you see this card, usually this is the, the after tarot deck. Usually in this card they're fighting there's rivalry there's you know there's function going on but you see they stopped fighting they stopped they've given up they're taking a break so i see this queen of cups which is actually your water sign right there um gaining it's like you stop fighting your emotions she's even holding the fish look she's holding the fish in the cup i don't know if you can see that that's your sign. It's like you've grabbed a hold of your emotions, literally. You've trained this fish. You're not a fish out of water anymore. You've given up fighting them and you're not allowing anyone to come your way and Not, I don't want to use the word strike, but you're not allowing anyone to protest the fact that you that you, that you have gained control of your emotions. Um, whatever has happened to you in the past, whatever you're going through, uh, whatever heartbreak and pain, it's it's no longer there, and you're not nurturing that pain anymore. It was giving you a lot of anxiety. And you are ready for a new opportunity, possibly with a new lover, or also I'm seeing another message of your you're gonna you're, you're gonna start protecting your emotional stability. You're gonna start protecting the people you let around your space. You if, if it's people that are calm, collective, and cool, then you're gonna you know, tame them like you're holding this fish. If it's people who are always combative and um, going against the grain, you're not going to nurture that because they no longer serve you. Because that kind of energy gives you anxiety. It, it, it puts a ball in your stomach. A ball, of, it's like almost like someone would need a Xanax just being around someone. And I see you moving into a new season and learning how to transmute this energy into something more positive. And I see this Ace of Wands really as you protecting yourself, protecting your third eye. Yeah, you're stepping into your power, Pisces. It's like the haters, do not they're, they're not even gonna try anymore. The haters are giving up because they realize it's not working. You've stepped into your power. They're like, you know what? Um, I'm not even gonna try. We're not gonna we're not gonna hate on Pisces anymore. Let's just go have lunch. <laughs> they're like, uh. 
and and anyone who's like, no, let's strike Pisces, let's you know, fuck that. You're like, I ain't nurturing that shit. You ain't feeding into that shit. You ain't feeding into none of this shit because it gives you anxiety. People who give you anxiety, you are no longer feeding that shit. You're not feeding them your energy. You're like super anti-narcissist right now. And you're using your third eye. And you're protecting yourself from, from these energy vampires. And that is what alchemy is. You have taken your power back. And by you going into a new season and not allowing... These energy vampires who were hating on you. They've given up and protecting yourself. Maybe you need to go on a vacation. You know, get away, go get into nature. But by you doing that, you're getting your good juju. And it looks, this is a good reading. It sounds like you're going into better waters per se. And you're even training the fish. So this is what I have for you, Pisces. This was a really good reading. Please look up alchemy. Um, also, understand that everything you went through, I know it hurts, but just know there is definitely something beautiful ahead for you. If you learn to look at it that way. All right, thank you. If you guys need a private reading, you can look in the description and you can email me. I'm going to end up adding a, a phone number soon, but you can email me if you'd like to tip my channel. I, all tips are truly appreciated. Um, my cash shop is down there at Lavender Lightworker. Thank you, Pisces. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.